Is pharmacy school worth it in the United States? Average cost of pharmacy school after four years is $160,000 a year. And that is just tuition alone. The state of Florida and Texas have the cheapest tuition, whereas California has the highest tuition. Most of you would take out a loan for about $200,000 to cover tuition and other school fees like books, intern license, and living expenses. Uh, most defer the loan until after graduation so that they only have to start paying back the loan after graduation, so not during school. I've seen some students work part-time while in pharmacy school, and then once they graduate, they start working two full-time jobs and these people, they were able to pay off the loan after one year. I know it's probably not realistic if you have kids or a family to take care of. Uh, most of the people in my class and on average throughout the United States, they tend to pay off the loan in five years with just one full-time job and they don't take any big vacations. Obviously, there are some people who like never pay off their debt, like my professors at my pharmacy school, they admit to taking lots of vacations and they choose to be in debt for the rest of their lives. And they're already like in their ages in their 40s and 50s. So my recommendation is that if you have a family and you're over the age of 40, it's probably not worth it to go to pharmacy school. If you're over the age of 50, it's definitely not worth it because you're so close to retirement and you'll probably be retired by the time you pay off your loans. And then at age over 40 plus, I'm assuming that you already have a job with health benefits and a retirement plan that has a 401k with a company match, which is where your company gives you free money every year for your 401k. And if you enter a pharmacy school at this old age, then you stop putting money into this 401k, assuming you stop your current job. So in general, my recommendation is that if you have no loans, then feel free to pursue pharmacy school. But if you have any loans, such as undergraduate college loans or any car loans, you should get some experience in pharmacy to make sure you know that you wanna become a pharmacist. Uh, that's because the worst thing you can do is go to pharmacy school and find out you hate pharmacy and then now you have even more loans 